in 2010. A man and his crew started a podcast on the internet, but they were distracted by real life for a challenge they couldn't commit to. This crew promptly escaped from real life to the, the internet. Today, still wanted by real life, they survive as podcasters of fortune. If you are bored, if nothing else can excite you, and if you can find them, maybe you can listen to Attack of the Awesome. Hello and welcome to the January 13th edition of Attack of the Awesome Podcast, a podcast that's about as awesome as the fifth element. I am your host, Chris. Joining me for this January 13th edition of Attack of the Awesome is my two good friends, Susie. Hi, Susie. Hey, Chris. Okay. <laughs> and Mike. Hey, Mike. Hey, Chris. You guys are really delayed today. Okay. <laughs> um, I guess there's no point next time. Let's just get right into our first bit of talking points. And the first thing we're going to talk about today is snow. Ooh. I'm not dreaming of a white anything anymore. Christmas nope. is over. But unfortunately, there's about 16 inches of white where I am. Nice. What about you guys? Were you hit by any big snowstorms? Um, well, we had quite a lot here, but as uh, the only problem with it being was it rained immediately after so it wasn't it wasn't sticking around uh but for example last week um like seven o'clock in the evening it was really heavy snow and then by the next morning it had all gone but it had iced up on the pavements and the, and the curbs and everything so doing my dog walking was a pain in the ass <laughs> yeah but it's just absolutely nothing here. It's just dull. And Wisconsin is pretty much filled with snow because, you know, Wisconsin is known for the winter wonderland that it is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, actually, <laughs> Wisconsin is for cheese, but I'll give you water. Okay. <laughs> Uh, New England, uh, which is where I am, is known for the nor'easter snowstorms, uh, and we kind of had two in a row. <clears throat> so things are pretty bad around here, but that's okay. The snow ended yesterday, and yeah. I got to shovel the remains today. Woohoo! Yay. Yay! So I can get out. And because, and they actually on the news because I was watching the news and they were talking about it. They like they followed this family throughout the entire day. And they were talking to this old woman, and she was just like, well, I thought they had the planes here, and they just couldn't dig them out. But it turns out the planes are elsewhere, and they couldn't get here. (laughs) (laughs) I love your old woman. (laughs) (laughs) That's how they talk. Well, shiny. That's an impression I can do. Yeah, exactly. She she was like the stereotypical old woman, and they had the newscast guy who's there like, well, are you thinking about taking a train? He's like, I don't know if the railroads go all the way to Orlando. (laughs) Oh, (laughs) I'm sure they do. (laughs) Oh, (laughs) Oh, man. Oh, but snow sucks. Uh, Anyway, apparently, yeah, so uh, I don't know if they ever... I kind of, I'm kind of upset I didn't catch up on the story to find out if they made it to Orlando, but I, I really don't care. <laughs> don't blame me. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, well, we're just going right through the talking points today, <laughs> and uh, I guess we move on. Move on to. I, I did say it was going to be a bit of a short podcast today because there's just not as much happening. Uh, but what little is happening on that guy with the glasses dot com I suppose we can talk about um, any any reviews that you guys have been watching or anything on the forums Mike we'll start with you uh, well of course it's January so you know what it is it's sequel month for the nostalgia critic Woo! and i I've been uh watching the first two reviews of sequel month. And by God, those movies were god awful. <laughs> Man, never, never end, ending story three. Yeah. I saw that, and wow, 
Jack Black? Why? Why is he in that movie? Don't you diss Jack Black? Jack, Don't you diss no, Jack no, 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 Black? I'm you not... take that back right now. You stop I... it. You stop <laughs> it. I am telling you to stop. Chris, wait, Chris. Look, I'm. Shh. 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 I'm. I'm I... not. You are not listening. <laughs> Susie, help me. <laughs> I'm so they're gonna go with that. I love Jack Black too. Um, but. That film was terrible right. by looking at it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll give you that. The movie show, don't you even say Jack Black's name. Fine. He was the bright I'm, spot in that movie. <laughs> I'm just going to say, he's. I like Jack Black. I just. In the movie, he's just like, okay, that's odd. He was awesome. Yeah, come on. Baltazar, come on. Okay, I'll give it to you then. <laughs> no, I think the most disappointing uh, thing about that is Doug pointed out was was uh, the rock biter that was just it was just what the yeah. hell what the hell did he do to it? Yeah, I, I don't understand why he had to play that stupid song three times. Oh. Yeah, get your motor running. Get on the highway looking for adventure. That was just dreadful. Right. He, j- he just he just looked like one of the yeah. like um an old used puppet from the TV show Dinosaurs. He just looked like that, that sort. It looked of. like a Rocky Terror, is what it looked like. Yeah, it just <laughs> looked so stupid. It looked like a boulder took a poop and it could talk. <laughs> exactly. <sighs> Alright, Susie, what about you? Any Anything you've been watching lately? Uh, that kind of um, glasses from... Well, well the, the usual stuff. So, uh, Brad's videos and, uh, you know, just catching up with them. And, of course, Nostalgia Critic. Just watched the Fern Gully 2 review last night. Um, and I'm very glad that I didn't actually check out <laughs> that, that movie because <laughs> it just looked dreadful. <laughs> and it's, it, it, well, alone, it, alone with the fact well, that they really, keep stopping. talk about Gully, where else are you going to go? Oh, it's, no, I, I I'll admit I'm one of the people so that fun. actually liked Gully when I was little because pff, I liked anything. Um, but, and, and I love the fact, like, you, when you're older and you look back on that film, you think, oh, there's a famous voice I didn't know did that, and oh, there's a famous voice I didn't know did that. And it's like, of course, Robin Williams was... In my opinion, really good as Batty, because um, he he made that part yeah. enjoyable. The rest of the film was kind of okay, yeah. but uh, um, who else? Christian Slater, which I didn't know um, until yeah. about five years ago or something, did that voice. Um, and then in the second film, it just sounds so. It's just the, the complete opposite of what they were going for in the the person's voice. It just sounds ridiculous. Um, right. And just, I'm so glad that I watched the review first instead of going to see uh, checking out the movie because it's just saved me an hour and a half of my life. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Now here's a question for you guys: Have you either of you seen the movie Once Upon a Forest? Yes. Um, damn, I didn't. Yes, I did because, I uh, right, because well, I guess... I'm a huge Michael Crawford fan, and he is in that movie as the badger, the the elderly badger in that. And I couldn't believe it until a few years ago I discovered that. I was like, oh my god, he's in the, he's the greatest badger in the world. Yeah. All right. So, well. Susie, I suppose this is a dumb question now. It was a good question until you just went on that. Would both Fern Gully and Once Upon a Forest have a very similar message? Which one do you think does it better? Oh, uh, Once Upon a Forest, because Fern Gully tends to go into the ludicrous "Look at me, I'm a fairy" story. It's it's like the people that made it have ADHD, but um. Once upon a once upon a forest takes it more seriously and uh, kind of has a little secret of Nim twist on it and just makes it more not in your face but it pops out at you more thinking oh god I should pay attention and um, look after nature and everything it's it's a gorgeous story I love it 
Mm-hmm. Yes, I, I agree with you. I think Once Upon a Forest is better. Um, one thing I think both films kind of do, especially for Ungully, they kind of have the whole plot line of man equals Nazi. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I think Fern Gully definitely has that more, like you said, in your face. Like, they show, like, the man, he's, like, chopping down rainforest and he's doing it while he's, like, smoking a cigar or, like, spraying aerosol cans. Mm-hmm. Like, he hates the earth so much. You know, but in Fern Gully, at Fern Gully, and Once Upon a Forest, the guy crashes and he go runs, at least he go runs to get help. Yeah, exactly. And the people who are treated as, and the, the humans who are as portrayed as the most Nazi, that's their job. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they're, they're, they're hunters. You know, that's why they're hunting little animals. Mm-hmm. Uh, whereas in <laughs> Fern Gully, they just like destroying shit. I see, so they just come I, at... I agree that once upon a yeah. If from Gully, they just come out of nowhere in the trucks and it's like, oh, look at the pretty fairies and the trees and the la 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 man. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. They just yeah. spring out of nowhere uh, and it's like, I'm gonna cut down all this crap here and la. And then he puffs on his cigar. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. I the only I think the only other saving grace in that film no, is Tim Curry. Is. Tim Curry's really good in that. Because he scared Tim Curry's sh- really good in anything. You he, put sc- him in. he scared the yeah. shit out of me when I was a kid watching that film. I was like, oh my god, he's going to eat me. Yeah. <laughs> Tim Curry can make anything. But made it a little bit better. He made uh, a pebble and penguin just a little bit better. He was like the... He was like what everybody remembers from the outdoor fairies. Mm-hmm. And, uh, uh, he he, for a picture show. So yeah, Tim Curry makes anything better. Anyway, now it's my turn, I guess, to talk about what's going on on what I've been watching on. I got to go. So I'm an ex. What I've been watching, let's play of Silent Hill, and fail because I love Silent Hill, and. Uh, well, Phelous, it, it obviously he does. He's not. He doesn't do a lot of let's plays. He actually does it very well. Let's move on to the next topic. <laughs> okay. Susie, pull out your show. Okay. Well, this is a very big announcement to everybody who does watch the or has watched my one review that I that I have on the forums, um, and is it has been expecting for a few months for my next one to come out. I can announce the second review of the blockbuster chick, Wild Wild West, is uploading on the internet as we speak. It is ready to go. Well, actually, by the time this gets uploaded, so will Wild Wild West. So it's really not being uploaded. It's being uploaded as we are speaking, as we are recording. Yeah. But as you are hearing this, it should already be up. Oh yeah, it, w- it will be up by the time everybody clear. hears this. It will be up on the internet, on the forums, on YouTube, every freaking where. Um, and I just watched it uh, through last night after it had finished rendering, which didn't take long. And I have to say that, in my personal opinion, it's a, m- a million times better than 2012, my review of 2012, because there's a lot of crap that's been a cut out. Times and yeah, a million times short. It's, it's 24 minutes long. That's it. It's not, not going into three or four parts. It's just one video, so you don't have to worry. It's, um, and I just, it's more, the editing is uh, much sharper and everything, and I've made sure that the clips I've got are much clearer. There's no black bars on the side of the, the video. I made sure to get rid of those straight away. So it looks... It looks and sounds a lot better than the first one, so hopefully I've got it right and people think it's good. So check out my next review, Wild Wild West. It's on the forums under the Blockbuster Chick Reviews. Okay, I think I'm going to go next. Mike, you're going to go last today. (laughs) My turn. Um, Only because, and Mike, that's nothing against you. It's only because you can only say that you're going to do something so many times in a row. (laughs) 
Sorry, buddy. Aww. I only, I only went with me and Susie because at least Susie's doing an upload and I got something coming out, but you've pretty much been at the same status of something will happen, I promise, for like a month now. Are you there? Oh, good, too. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, I'm taunting you and you're not responding. This is unusual. You're making me cry. <laughs> no crying or you'll be muted. Here's a random question for you, Mike. Can you do an impression of Donald Duck crying? Actually, I cannot. I can never do that. Are you crying? There's no crying in podcasts. This is the awesome. This is the attack of the awesome, not attack of the crying. Oh, come on. That was a perfect... Oh, my God. That was a perfect League of Their Own reference, and no one caught it. I know. I caught it. I caught it. I just... Oh, my God. I only just got it. (laughs) Anyway, back to me, Corey. (laughs) Fine. Dear. Fine, just pick on me every fucking time. I know I haven't been produce anything lately, but, you know, life's a bitch sometime. Stop whining. <laughs> life's a piece of shit when you look at it. When you look at it. <laughs> Puss your lips and whistle, that's the thing. <laughs> and always look on the bright side of life. Susie, I unfortunately cannot whistle that loud. <laughs> anyway, well, good. Now I don't even have to ask you to whore out your stuff anymore, Mike, because you kind of just did. It was a clever ploy by me. So now it's my turn. <laughs> um, I, am act- <laughs> I am actually going to be piloting a new show within the next couple of days. I don't want to spoil what it's going to be, but it's not really going to be a character to it. It's going to be me, just Chris, talking about stuff, and my first review is going to be of the game Heavy Rain, so it'll be a little bit of a surprise. I'm all about surprises today. Mm -hmm. Today is surprise day. Surprise! Because Sunday will be surprise day for me. Yeah. (laughs) Sunday is going to be surprise day for me because it's my birthday! Yay! Day. It's a party. It's going, it's going to be an awesome fucking day. <laughs> yes, it will. Because <laughs> there's plans to get cake and Kentucky Fried Chicken and oh, Kentucky mm-hmm. Fried Chicken. Oh. West Bingo Licking Wood. Bingo Licking Yeah. Anywho... Anywho, so yeah, I'm going to, that's my whoring, I'm going to whore out that. Uh, I have the new pilot, that's that. And, uh, wow, we are really blasting through these topics today, because we're already at the most awesome of the week. Uh, Who do I want to start with today? Eeny, meeny, miny, I could (laughs) pick me, but I'm going to pick Susie Mo. As as ever. I'm going to start with you, Susie. Okay. Right. What do you have for us? The most awesome movie of the week is uh, Night and D, starring Tom Cruise and Cameron Diaz. Excuse me. Um, the reason for it being is I am a big spy movie nut. I love anything to do with spy movies, of course. Like one of my favorite shows is uh, TV shows is Chuck. Um, and I love James Bond movies and anything. So anything to do with uh, spies and everything I absolutely adore and this movie was no different I, I was a little worried by the reviews it was getting saying it was kind of cheesy and tacky and the special effects were kind of crap and everything but I thought I don't care it looks good I've seen the trailer it looks really funny I'm, on, I'm gonna see it and my dad has wanted it for Christmas so we uh, got him the DVD and uh, we decided to watch it and I can just say it's kick ass you don't think Tom Cruise and Cameron Diaz will be able to work together, but they play off each other so well. It's uh, one of the one of the best comedy duos I've, I've seen on the big screen. I'm re- I was really impressed with it. The 
the effects that they did were spectacular. The the timing of the lines was really quick and um, and funny and everything. It was it was just a really really good movie, and I don't understand the bad criticism that it's gotten. But if you haven't seen Night and Day yet, get the DVD and check uh, it out. Uh, I have seen Night and Day, and I, I think I kind of understand a couple of the criticisms. Do Cameron Diaz and Tom Cruise are probably not the best comedy duo on the big screen ever. Uh, that, not not the best been ever. A I think a bit of a hyperbole on your part. Yeah, pro- it's uh, not one of the best ever. Bit of hyperbole I th- there, Susie. I think they, I think they worked really well together. They bounced off of each other. Yeah. Because like, I didn't expect yeah, them to to work. Yeah, I know I'm getting a bit hyper about it because I thought it was really good. Um. But it's, I would say it's a really good movie. I, I I would say I would I wouldn't say it's a, it wasn't one of the most, like best movies I've seen. I think it's I think it was good, and I don't. And I, I think it kind of got unfair criticism because I think people still kind of like to bash Tom Cruise. He's yeah. A bit loony, but that's okay. Mm-hmm. He he did okay here. He was pretty funny. Um. Anyway, good choice for most awesome movie. And Mike, I suppose we'll let you say something. You got an awesome song for us? Yeah, yo, chicka chicka what what? DJ Mick Funky's in the house with the most awesome song of the week. Okay, that was terrible. Now you don't get to talk at all. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Chris. <laughs> if you weren't hosting this call, I would boot you. If you were not hosting this call, you would be so booed. <laughs> Oh, I think I am. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, uh, the most awesome DJ song... Derp Derp. Uh, <laughs> In the house! <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, most awesome song of the week is a song that I found on YouTube called The Dope Song, which is pretty much Homer Simpson saying dope in a constant repeat pattern, which is in a techno remix, which is pretty fucking awesome. That sounds annoying as hell. It's actually a really good uh, mix, actually. It doesn't sound annoying. It sounds pretty epic. And, uh, yeah, that's my most awesome song of the week. Awesome. <laughs> no reason why, just it's just Homer Simpson going, don't. <laughs> no reason why it's so epic. Just no. Everybody loves The Simpsons. You gotta love The Simpsons. And, you know, it's a catchy beat to it. You know, the dough, you gotta sing along with it as well. It, it's just something that it's... <laughs> and you gotta Chris, sing along with it. The Chris, Chris would say, oh, you gotta have an opinion why you like it. Well, it's kind of hard for me to actually explain because I just like to listen to music and sometimes there's no opinion to it at all. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of need to have one for that. Yes. That's kind of the point. That's the reason we're here. It's the most listening to music of... Okay. We need opinions. Oh, <laughs> I've got too many to go around. Like, you take a shovel and you dig yourself into a deeper hole with each podcast. I think I'm just going in a downward spiral. <laughs> I think the, so. Into the black hole. Oh, I, I can't I even say it. Oh, right. uh, I'm a failure. I don't even know why I'm on the yes, internet. You, are. <laughs> you said the black hole, you didn't even say it how you're supposed to it's the black hole. <laughs> I know. I'm just a failure. What the fuck am I oh, telling you? Right. Yeah. Anyway. Let me let me let me try and remember. This is episode what? Four? The songs you've picked. You picked Smooth Criminal, which was good. You've picked uh, In the Air Tonight by Phil Collins, which was good. And I don't remember what the other one you picked was, but I'm sure it was okay. And here you are now picking the Doe song. <laughs> and the first time I heard you say it, I thought you said the Dope song. And I was like, eh, appropriate. <laughs> dope. 
Yo, yo. I was going to go with uh, uh, Tom Sawyer by Rush, which would have been a much better choice. Oh, you didn't choice. have a reason for it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Tom Sawyer is the best classic song of the 80s. And right. But what you don't seem to get is it's the most awesome song of the week. How does it make it that? How does it make it this song this week? Yeah, see, like I, Susie said, like the reason why Night and Day is her awesome movie of the week is because she saw it. I would assume over the past week. Yes. Exactly. Uh, see, well, I, I should. So I can give you an awesome song of the week. It was Homer Simpson. Who doesn't love the Simpsons. Yeah. Hold on. I'll tell you my awesome See, song of the thought, week. Hold on, I would need to think of a reason. Yes, no. I should have thought this out more. Yeah. Um, yeah, you should. Oh, wait, wait. Let me Here, out. I'll help you. Let me help you out here. The Doe song is the most awesome song of the week because uh, a new season of The Simpsons has started recently. And what better way to pay tribute to the Simpsons, then have our most awesome song of the week be Homer Simpson saying doubt over and over and over for about two minutes. Oh, okay. there you go. Reason. <laughs> wow, see, my mind is just <clears throat> just blowing the pieces why I couldn't think of that. <laughs> Not even an excuse. I'm half asleep, too. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's true. Just that's... imagine if I had my brain at full power right now. Dear God. <laughs> I could rule the fucking world. <laughs> hey, you know what? You know what? I'm not yes. even cutting. I'm not cutting this. This is going to be uncut. I'm not editing this. I'm gonna, okay, I'm even the part where you say this is going to be uncut, you're going to leave that in there too? <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> Hey everybody, you can listen to it uncut. <laughs> uh, it's gonna be terrible. Anyway, that can be unplugged. <laughs> to start, press any key. Where's the any key? Welcome. You've got mail. <laughs>
Yeah. All right, so we've got our most awesome movie and our most awesome song with a little bit of help. Now we have the most awesome video game, and it's going to be Fallout 3 this week. And the reason for that is Fallout New Vegas came out a little while ago. It was a little over a week, but that's okay. Nobody's counting. Uh, But I have been recently playing Fallout 3 because uh, I've been told that it is a good game, and I've just recently had a chance to start playing it. And I agree, it is an epic RPG. Uh, and I love playing it. There's really no more reasons to that. There's nothing special about it, really, to say. Mm-hmm. So uh, there you go. Yay. Most awesome game, Fallout 3. And, yes, clap, clap, clap. Anyway, now we move on to the segment that was started at random last time we got together, the random question. And I'm going to, before we start this, going to, going to put lay a little bit of a ground rule down because kind of let you get away with it a little bit especially you Susie <laughs> you kind of get away with this a little too much yeah I'm gonna lay a bit of a ground rule here the question it you can only have one answer only one thing if the question says what is the one thing you can't start listing two Susie okay <laughs> You can do one thing. <laughs> Only one. But I do so many questions. I drive everybody mad. No, no, you're not asking questions. You're giving answers. You're giving one answer. Because yep. last week I said, what is the one character you'd want to beat up? And you listed two. Well, there's more than one that you can beat up. They're all, they drive you mad. <laughs> but the question was for only one. <laughs> okay, so I'll be good. So the question is Here's the question. What is the one thing, one thing, one thing, only one thing from your childhood that you would like to do again? The the most crazy thing that you did as a kid that you would like to have back as an adult. Oh my God. That's a good one. Who's, who's answering it first? Mike. Ah, okay. Uh, <laughs> crap, the pressure's on me now. Uh, God, let me go, let me think back. Oh, shit. What is it? The craziest thing I did as a child I didn't want to do again. Oh. It doesn't have to be the craziest thing, just like something that you did as a kid. Something like you remember from your childhood that you can't, that you don't really do nowadays, that you would like to do again. Uh, uh. If you want, I can go to Susie because it <laughs> seems like you're having a bit of trouble with this one. Yeah, you can. <laughs> all right, well, all right, you can think about it, Susie. Good um. Well, okay. well, I, I sort of, kind of do it. At, the moment still in my, my videos, I, I just used to, um, when I was a little, from about the age of seven up to <laughs> up to about eleven or something, I just used to put on little plays all the time and get my my family around to sit and watch them, and it just used to be completely random crap. Like, um, like the Christmas I was seven. This is still part of the one thing, by the way. Uh, the Christmas I was seven, I was given a puppet theater yeah. to use, um, and I converted it into a McDonald's drive through because I was given uh, plastic McDonald's toys things, and I was, I had, I'd set up a McDonald's drive through in my living room, <laughs> um, and I, I just, I just miss being completely crazy like that, just doing random plays and shows and things. That's that's why I started kind of doing the videos thing to kind of put that out into the world saying I am still crazy, I am still doing it, but that's one thing I'd uh... So let's say the one thing that you miss from me, the one thing you miss from your childhood is setting up little plays in your living room and having your family watch them. Yes! Because <laughs> you don't really there watch my videos a lot, but... There's the abbreviated version. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the whole plan was hopefully to get a little bit of a shorter answer, but you know what? That's fine. 
Well, what would yours so be, now Chris? Now next week I'm going to have to be like, Susie, what is the one thing that you can answer in under 30 seconds? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're speaking to a, a, a girl that, ha- that has that was- ADD. <laughs> so I'm just completely distracted all the yeah. time and I can rab it on and on. I can tell. <laughs> you have a tendency to do that. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay. Just like Mike, we love you just the same. Oh, well, I feel... So, Mike, have you thought of anything? Uh, I've been thinking of a couple of things that I've done in, in my Well, you only get one. Don't you even start with a couple. You only get one, sir. <laughs> I have a bad influence on you. <laughs> I think you are, Susie. <laughs> Susie takes long answers. Mike can't think of anything at all. Ugh. Uh, Chris. <laughs> Do you want me to go so you can keep thinking? Yes. Sure, why not? Let me uh, <laughs> take longer than expected to think of some short answer. You don't... What's, you don't remember anything from your childhood is what this makes it seem like. <laughs> you must have had the most boring childhood in the world. <laughs> I, I, you know, I, what did I, I do with my childhood? <laughs> I sat in my house and watched the walls. <laughs> I saw paint dry twice. <laughs> I have that is worst, what I want to do again. <laughs> the worst memory ever, so... <laughs> I suppose I'll go. Yeah, you go on. <sighs> yeah, keep thinking, Mike. All right, the thing I miss most from my childhood that I want to have back again, table foam. <laughs> I miss table foam. <laughs> that was one thing I used to do a lot when I was a little kid. I'd take that weird little shaving cream stuff, foam, whatever. They came in all sorts of colors, like blue and red and yellow and green. And you would spray it all over a table, and you would just rub it in the table. And you'd make fun little handprints in the foam. You just play with the foam. I miss it. I want it back. Oh wow! Okay. I did it a lot when I went to this daycare place. I went to a daycare place, and they had it. They had that weird little foam, and they'd spray it on the table, and then we just rub the foam around. I would take the foam, I would cut the foam into my hands, and I would throw it at people. <laughs> you were a little psycho, weren't you? <laughs> yeah. Like, you, you've heard of pie in the face. How about, a, how about a handful of foam in the face? I gave it... No, thanks. <laughs> I was a hardcore kindergartner. Don't you even... Uh. I just used to fall down a lot when I was little, so I used to have yet, a in the face. You just stall for more time. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> when thinking about it now, no, 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 wait, wait, look, I thought of something at least. Uh, Woohoo! Growing, growing up, we had a video camera, and I used to take that camera all the time and just make little movies with it, constantly. And I guess the whole point of it having back again is I want to make more videos and that does not make any sense for some uh, reason I do, I do not know what I'm talking about maybe I should no you don't maybe I should repeat <laughs> no. my <laughs> no no you don't need to repeat yourself that's fine no we, we get you know, yeah. Susie I can kind of understand yours I can kind of understand yours you know wanted to set up little puppet shows whatever in front of your family you know, I was expecting answers like, oh, putting, like, bugles on my fingers. And, like, oh, look, my fingers have hats. And put- <laughs> Those are the kind of answers that I was expecting. Oh. Uh, and there's, like, I want to do what I do now. Well, uh, right, well the, thing, the thing with the, the, the bugles, Chris, I still kind of do that anyway. So I wouldn't want to bring it back because I still kind of do it anyway. So... There you go. <laughs> I know a lot of people still do it anyway, but that but the whole point of the question is what's one thing from your childhood that you miss that you miss doing and you want to bring it back? Well, why the fuck would you want to bring it back? <laughs> <laughs> you did... Are you kidding me? You would not want to put foam on your table? No. I would have to clean that goddamn mess. <laughs> so? 
<laughs> we can play with phone for like 30 minutes. I, I, you're just a weird kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, <laughs> I would play with the foam on one, but you with the other. <laughs> Bring it on. <laughs> then I would come all the way to Wisconsin and throw the foam at you and then poke you with a bugle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're crazy. <laughs> My then I get so a boring person, sir. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, a McDonald's drive through in your living room, that's funny, that's, yeah, that's, there you go. I used to make videos with a camera, and I still do. <laughs> now I'm going to go watch my wall. <laughs> wow, you know, I have never thought of this, and I, I really am boring, I really am. That's the whole point of the question, that's why we have this segment, is, is random, it's supposed to be caught off guard. Really off guard, I was like... Wasn't expecting to think that much of the because ch- like, my childhood was pretty. Oh, uh, your childhood wasn't that long ago. <laughs> well, I, guess, I, I, I have an excuse. Mine was. Mine was. Mine was. Yeah, mine was twenty years ago. Yeah. Where's Willie? Where's Willie? Twenty years ago. Yours was a long time ago. Yours wasn't that long ago. Mine wasn't that long ago. <laughs> Susie should have been thinking for an eternity about this one. <laughs> Uh, I've well, photographed uh, every though, so I can bring up a lot of things that I, I did. I could go on for days about the, the crazy crap I used to do. So. I know, but we're trying to keep this under an hour. Yes, exactly. Yeah, I'm, exactly. I'm controlling myself. <laughs> Thank you. I, I, I... How about, how about my, let, let me help you with this one, too. No, don't, <laughs> don't even, my, don't help. Remember don't, most don't, Josh, don't even help me with this one, because you don't know anything about me, dude. Jesus. A little defensive. <laughs> Maybe I'm a, I woke up on the wrong side of the bed today. Apparently, I think, it, well... You're in a you're in a rotten mood today, sir. We need everybody chipper for this podcast. I I I. You're not awesome if you're grumpy. Fine, I'm I'm just lame. Yeah. You know what? 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 <laughs> I am going crazy. She douche. Woo. I am going crazy. <laughs> when when you woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning, did you also smoke a joint? No, I think he hit his head. Ah, well, there we go. All right. You know anyway, what? You want, moving you want, you want, you want to... I'm now moving on. Right, oh. Before you know what, 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 no, no. I, I'm, no. I'm not dropping. No, I don't know what, and I don't want to know what. <laughs> I don't want to know what. I'm... As, a, <laughs> as a child, Are you... as a child, my parents used to make me sing along to classic songs, and I love singing. I wish I could sing more to this day. Good. But just don't sing here. I won't <laughs> sing on the podcast. I, can't, I won't. I'll promise you that. So, so, all right, good. So there we go. Now we have everybody sing from their child. I had my table foam. Susie had her. Uh, Susie had her little puppet shows in her living room that her family would watch, and Mike was forced to sing. <laughs> I wasn't forced. <laughs> you, Mike was you, said you, were forced. you said you were forced to do it. <laughs> Did I say forced? Oh, yes, oh my contradiction. God. See, I'm, I'm totally whacked my up. My parents used to force me to do stuff, and I miss that. Force <laughs> me to do more. <laughs> wow. You know, guys, if you're still listening to this, I am totally freaking boned off my ass right now. I actually I don't. What? <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> I, I'm I'm naturally this. You know what? Oh, <laughs> I'm naturally this crazy, 
And, you know, sometimes... Are you watching porn at the same time? <laughs> no, I'm watching... Actually, I'm watching, I'm watching the Cinema Snob Pussy Talk episode. You're getting bored <laughs> off Oh, God, what would he say? <laughs> wow. He recorded an intro okay, for you, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> this is the episode where Michael is crazy and talks random shit on his ass. That's every week. <laughs> Mike, I think you should just, uh, I think you should just go to bed. Just <laughs> 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 let Susie finish this off. Because that hole you dig for each podcast is about 12 feet deep now. <laughs> <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> in pretty bad shape right now, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, okay, that was like, funny. <laughs> Can't wait to see it when this one uploads. Oh, <laughs> my. <laughs> A lot of outtakes. <laughs> you and I are going to watch this. It's just going to be my... It's just going to be... We're not even going to be at it. He's going to boot us all. <laughs> He's gonna destroy the file. We love you, Mike, really. <laughs> we'll make videos for, for you. <laughs> next episode, I'll probably try to make myself more calm and collective and not so crazy. Oh, no, you were calm and collected. You just said really, really, really bonehead things. <laughs> <laughs> and make a short video. Instead of the DJ, Wiki Wiki what? 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 Wow, wow, West. Oh hey, let me check on that. It's yeah. up to twelve percent. I should get to the final thing. <clears throat> oh my god, Chris! You know, I had a final thought for today. You know, something to, something that we could close out the podcast with, like a final thought. But after today, I don't really see the point. <laughs> <laughs> That's your final thought, folks. I was going to talk about football players and how they're huge bags, but. You know what, after, after boned off the ass, no. I can't top it. I no. Know. <laughs> no, you win, you Mike. The, you win. I'll save it for next week. Yep. <laughs> I'll save it for next week, because I got nothing for you. Thank you for tuning in, everybody. I'm Chris, followed by Susie and boned off the ass. We'll see you next week. <laughs> see you later. Goodbye! <laughs> You're listening to the Attack of the Awesome Podcast with Chris, Mike, and Susie. Hey! Just Hello, Susie. Hey. How are we Do doing? Camel all set up? Yeah, it's going at the moment. Oh, goody. <sighs> Let's hope she's good. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's not going to misbehave today. I'm not in the mood for it. <laughs> she will yeah. misbehave. Just good. Get some pre-podcast rant out of the wake up a bit. Mm-hmm. At least for me. <laughs> wake up, you silly pussies! <laughs> Don't say that. No, that's very disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, damn. Okay, I'm, I'm still half asleep as well, so anything that says in my mouth is random. Me too. I, I, wow. wa I walked nine dogs today, so I'm just a bit shattered. <laughs> so my my feet have fallen shattered. off. Yeah, I'm I tired. I'm shattered. <laughs> That's a Scottish word. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Oh. Oh, I got a good question for you guys. Another random question. What? I think you guys will like it. Oh, you don't want me to spoil it for you. Uh -huh. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> You're just going to have to wait. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Oh, Jesus. Uh, 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 I need to wake up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yeah. <sighs> Bloody. Ah. 
They wanted to pull everywhere today and decided to drag me off my feet with them. Because they're stupid. Mm. <laughs> no, they're not stupid. They're they're just playful. So I, guess, uh, I guess we get a lot of views on that Brad Jones interview. How, yeah, it's, it's just a, it, it, it amazes me how much how many he's had over Doug's. I know it's weird. Well, that's just because he posted it on his website. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. It's heavily promoted so he did it on his website and his Facebook so it's got twice promoted maybe we should yeah. email Doug about uh, promoting his one just say come on Doug <laughs> you know you want to <laughs> <sighs> well I'm up to 3% on the review now Dear <laughs> this is going to take forever. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you won't want to be good because you can finally <laughs> you can finally whore out a finished product. I know. And then I just need to get started on the next one. Which I got the fifth element through yesterday. Sweet. So that's what I no, it's not. I'm starting out on the, the weekend. But um, I'm getting my mum. Movie, I like that movie. I, I, the last time I saw it was about fifteen or something, I think. Um, my mum's gonna sit and watch it with me, and we're gonna sit with a, a tape recorder and see what we come up with. It's a good that's, movie. But there's a lot to make fun of. I know that. Yeah, it's still a good movie. Yeah. I, I, I didn't say it's bad. It's, it's a good movie. Mm -hmm. No, you didn't, Mike. Stop lying. <laughs> you weren't uh, saying that because we're recording. You'll see. Yeah. yeah. I remember, like, oh, we should do the fifth element for this review compilation. It's horrible. Yeah. <laughs> The reason is, whatever. <laughs> yeah, don't try to lie, just get your recording. You can't no, <laughs> the recorder doesn't uh, lie. Exactly. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, I think we should probably start now. I think five minutes of ridiculous nonsense is good, don't you? Timing! Yeah. <laughs> about that. <laughs> 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 so I take it Susie's ready. Are you ready, Mike, to start this nonsense again? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Are you awake? A little delayed. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, yeah. Let's do this. Are, are, are we keeping you from your beauty sleep, Mike? <laughs> is, like, is this podcast just too much for you? No, it's... <laughs> I just woke Forget it, just go, I'll wake my shit up. Okay. I'll just make sure not to ask you any any questions. <laughs> For fear that we'll... Yeah, hey Mike, uh, what, what do you think about Mecca? That's for you. Alrighty. <clears throat> Alright, I'm going to start this now. Okay. Wait, what's today's date? Yeah, uh, uh, hang on a second. Thirteenth. Is it? Yeah, thirteenth. Yeah, I should know this. Sunday's my birthday. Thir Is it? Sunday's my birthday, and I forgot the date. <laughs> so, <clears throat> all right, I'm starting this now. Okay. Mhm. Mm oh, my sound is fading. It's, it's kind of fading a little bit. It's kind of, I, it sounds crack. It's cracking up a wee bit. Just to warn you. Yeah, that's my that's my voice. That's yeah. that's me. That's not my. That's not my sound. That's me. <laughs> oh, that's fine. <laughs> I'm fading a bit. You're fading. Give me a break. <laughs> no, I'm, I was moving away from the mic. Well, don't do that then. It's just me. It's oh, very oh. simple. I couldn't help it. <laughs> I'm laying on my bed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's just rewind. Lay down. Like, 
<laughs> anyway. Let's rewind and do a, an outtake of you talking about what you watched on that guy with the glasses. Yeah. Huh? Wait, what? 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 Repeat what you said about what you watched on that guy with the glasses dot com. Fine. I watched Phelous's Let's Play of Silent Hill. <laughs> In there. <clears throat> I don't know, but Chris had to go. <laughs> oh my god, what the hell was I doing? I don't know. <laughs> it seems to be I, the se- I don't... it seems to be the second you get on the microphone you go to Lally. <laughs> you go crazy. Oh, this is very, very funny. 